The ALS patient has a more fragile respiratory system during sleep. Um, they, if they start hypoventilating where the diaphragm is not functioning effectively, then they're not motoring the muscles that we need to bring oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out. The issue a lot of times with the ALS population is that it's not something you can monitor daily and with it being a progressive type of disease, it's important that we are supporting the diaphragm since it's the major muscle of respiration. Those, and that's kind of where those morning headaches and those other issues can come into play when the carbon dioxide levels are building in the body. So once we prescribe the BiPAP to help and assist the diaphragm, then you see the carbon dioxide levels even out where they should be, and you see that they feel better during the day once they wake up. So when the physician prescribes the settings initially, um, we set those, the respiratory therapist is required to set those, and we don't recommend any types of adjustment on the patient's part to the pressures. That's a conversation that really needs to happen with the physician, because if you adjust the settings too low, a lot of times you're not eliminating the carbon dioxide, which was the whole point of starting the therapy to begin with. So those types of conversations need to be had with the physician so that the patient can be compliant and comfortable and get the full benefit of the therapy.